Hey, you people. I found this cool old book at Guttenberg or and it's got uh, 200 of these symbols on it. And then he's got poetry underneath explaining what he knows about these symbols. The entire book's in poetry. It was a poet that read it. It's called A Collection of Emblems, Ancient and Modern. Printed in 1635. And he starts with a writ of prevention. You know, that's the same word they use in the Hebrew for the covenant. And he starts off making you think that this should be pronounced epigrams to rhyme with names. But you see all through it, he used a lot of different print. And what he's doing is showing the, the lex. You know, everything that's italic here will be in the lex of card playing, swearing, short, time hall, parlor, dining room, chess, tables, dice. So that's what it's talking about up here in this writ of prevention. You know, it's the covenant of pre, before, to vent, to let out, the light, to yawn. In the covenant b before, let out the light. And it's like old scientists in a laboratory, you know. It became prevention. We would keep you from getting the coof. You had to put on your safety glasses and your steel toe shoes, you know, before you open that container. We don't know what's going to come out, you know. And it became prevention before let out the light. You know, concerning the author's the dedication, he's, he's playing with the words, you know, the dead, the dedication, the, it, the addition of the dead that they can't come back and say anything about it, the dedication. Eddie is your base word for edit, you know, through edication. And so this is like co, as in together, of through edication. But, you know, he's making fun of the dead on the vacation. You know, they, they, they won't be back. And then he changes font throughout here. You know, of the four following books, you know, he's got a different type font here. To those royally, princely, and illustrious, you know, on the same type font, personages whose names are mentioned in this leaf. And then he goes on, I have not often used with epigrams or with inscriptions unto many names to charge my books, nor had I done it now, for had I done it, no. If I paid to the duties which I owe, had other means or better ways, to honor them, virtue merits praise. In architect, I giveth good content, and passeth for praiseful ornament. If to adorn the four fronts, builders rare, the statues of sovereign princes there. And, uh, you know, I wanted to read this as four fonts, and it's because it had changed up, you know, four different fonts in here. You see, books has changed from this font here and uh it tells me he's sending messages you know through the fonts architect four fonts peers but the statues of their sovereign princes there and trim the outside of others square with portraitures of some heroic peers and so the word you know the four traitures four and the trait and then where is, you know, to, to shape the traits. And if, you, and if you just read, you know, the builders, statues, sovereign princes, outsides, for traitors, you know, it's, it's to shape your population for traitors. Portion, the gallery. And so this word, epigrames, you know, this is a fig, the figrames. And it's, uh, you know, when Adam and Eve found out they were naked, you know, they put on the fig. And what it means is, uh, is, hey, kids, be good. Me and your mama going upstairs to pray to Jesus, you know. It's to cover up your nakedness, fig means. You know, inscriptions, uh, duties, means, and virtue. And virtue, this is where your word vertical come from, you know, upright. You know, the book of Jasher, the book of the upright man, your virtue. And in the Archite Act, 
you know in the in the arch in the arch it and etc in the arch and following it get it giveth good content and passeth for praiseful ornament if to adorn the four fronts and so he'll do that throughout the book and on his seal here it's called the effigies of Georgie Withery the poetess but you'll see codes of the Lex all throughout here you know knowledge life and death are the only three words it's not italic you gotta expect he's holding something back because he he says you know he's worried about he may be censored and maybe in a great indecorum but it's a good place to start uh, a lot of these words you'll see Hebrew and you notice a lot of these words that finish with Hebrew final letters will end with an E you know the N the M and the K you know, as this one, or my sons, or is in the total sums. And it seems like these were old words from the old Hebrew, where the, the final letters changed meaning, so you would put an E at the end of a word to, to have an M, final M. And they were still spelling Finnish the same as the French. So all these sayings that are written on these seals are ancient come from the old language before the language change and so you can't take Google's word for how they interpret this and yeah a lot of the language now been forced on these words having to be mis misinterpreted and it's uh it's easy to read and it's even easier if you use the the septic two trick you know and take the last two letters and put it in front you know and it's it's where vive it you know, vive is where your words survive come from. Viva life. You know, or you, or you could read the last, you know, go to the center. You know, it's where vive, it's where it lives. But, you know, the vivator, you know, is the living. Then ingeno, ingenio. They'll say this is wit, where ingenious come from. And it's a lot easier to read if you do seven two you know and it's j-o-y joying i-n-g j-o-i-n-g-e-n the joying in so instead of viva tour in wit it's more you know where vive it where live it joying in you know enjoying enjoying life and then the ash you know is e-s-c-e-s-t-e-r-a you know, the era is a time. And cest, you know, the, is the greatest. You know, anything EST, you know, is the best. And they'll say this is a Latin non-standard form. And it's because these were all old codes. And they are meant to read different ways. But they'll say it means the remainder or the rest. And cest usually means a, a girdle. So it looks like it says, you know, the sestera, the remainder, or in the seven two, you know, is the recessed, the recessed. And then you recognize mortis as death, you know, rigor mortis. And it actually comes, you know, is from, m from, and an ort is a skin, and from the skin is a rut. From the skin is a rut, you know, in the rut. And so it says, you know, the vivator, the living, the living in genio, sestera remains from the skin is a rut. You know, when, and that's just a rude way of saying, you know, when, when you're marching and, uh, and, it's, and you die, you know, that skin is a rut. It's just used to fill a crack in the road. But with the seven too, you know, it's, it's recessed and is from the ort, you know, is from the skin water, you know, this what are, where vive it, where living it joying, in recessed, is from the skin what are. And then you can read it again by going to the middle letter, you know, it where vive joying, it where life enjoying, it where life enjoying 
the era, you know, the time, the time cest is, tis, you know, T-I-S, it is, and then from or, and you see this mark above this V here, it looks like an Arabic B, you know, the B and the V interchange, I believe that's saying that this is from, from orbit, from the orbit, or B-U-T-R, it were, it were vive enjoying the era, the time cess is from orbiter. You can see he's he's looking at his orbital here. So every which way, you know, it pretty much says, you know, the rest of your time or the time rest or the recessed. But it's either, you know, the cessed era, the rest of the time from the skin is a rut, you know. You're on you're on Earth for just a short period of time just a pinpoint you know and forever you know your skin gonna be a rut you're just gonna be spirit and then with the 7-2 code you know it's recessed is from the skin but or or what are you know your skin what are oh country way of talking you know what you are what are you know recessed from the skin what are and so that's death you know in the second time around with the 7-2 code and then reading, you know, from the center letter, it's era, the era says, the era time, the time left, it is from or, and then B-U-T, the orbiter, the time left it is from the orbiter. But if you take all this and put it in translator, you know, they're going to give you that Google translation, he lives by his genius, and the rest will be death. But if you separate these words, it'll change up. You know, is is lived ingenuity the rest of death will be? And they'll give you a selection of these words. You know, if you switch every selection here, you know, it is lived with other things death it will be. And if you put those first two words together, you know, he lives by his wits and the rest of death will be. Looks like a threat. You know, he lives by his wits and the rest there will be death. So after you read it all those ways, you come back and loosen up, and you see it's the vivitware, the livitware engine, you know, the E-N-G-I-N-E, I-N-G-E-N, the engine in the generation of the J-O-K-E, of the joke, the jokester, J-O-K-E-S-T-E-R, the jokester of from ort is from the from the skin is here what you know a, a mortis is a a mortician i had a great uncle that was a mortician he was a joker and he was a life of the party the life it were in engine of jokester a mortis of the death here what he's killing me with his jokes and then he'll have this long poem underneath it and uh between these four books, after this 50th illustration each time, he'll have a lottery here, and he'll have an, another little poem that he wrote that goes with each emblem, and he'll bring you back up. And so this is that third emblem, and you see, you know, in the, in the lex, the law, in the direct, in the sword, punish and protect. You know, everything that has to do with the law here, you'll have in this lex. And you see it in this word here, lex. And uh, lex is a group of words pertaining to a certain subject that you would use when speaking about that subject. So it's also a, a group of secret words. You know, and the eagle has landed. Oh, lex. And lex regidet. You know, Reginald, kingly, regina. And, uh, and they'll say this is the king, but... You know, the regit et, et is feminine. It was in the old cop, you know, Egyptian, uh, the French, you know, the et is a feminine. And so it looks like on the word of the regit et of the queen, the arm at, the, the arm at venture. The lex, the regit et, the arm at venture. On the word of the queen, the arm at venture, you know, the the army will go out. And you see on these two tablets, you know, this D here, 
going with this U.S. down here, Dios, would be the Latin word, one of the Latin words for God, and the proximus. And so there's a reason they separated this. You know, this is D, the, you know, the, and it's a, a proper word, you know, for kingly or godly, and then us. And so the, the proximus is coming from this Latin, you know, the proximus proximity the nearest point approximate close to the actual you know so they're saying Dios you know the God proximus closest to the actual you always see you know uh, the X is the CH P-R-O-C-H-I-M-S the proximus you know when he comes the closest the closest approach you know the word of the queen the army adventure and the us Proximus, you know, the closest thing to God. And you see that on the second seal. This sapienta, you know, this is where your word homo sapien come from. And so they'll say this is in nose. But nose what is the question? You know, a, a homo sapien, the same sapien, the same knowledge. So when God made him, you know, in his image, it was homo, the same as. So it looks like it means the same knowledge as the gods, the sapien, and the constants. So I believe this beginning S is read like is. And is a P in Kia. As a, is happy entirely. Is, is a P's. Is a P in Tia. The cons, constains. And so if you keep everybody as happy, you know, you're going to con, con, to control, stands, the, the con stands. You know, you'll keep your rule as long as everybody's happy. But you can get a lot out of this book uh, just studying the pictures and, uh, and break these words down the same as you do the Hebrew. And some of them are impossible and some are just total coded. And when you read the poetry, you know, just go down and read all the words that, that he made special. And it'll give you another idea when you get all the lecks, all the words. it give you a better idea of what it says. And when you see words that ain't quite spelt like we used to, don't be scared to move that letter onto the next word. You know, the, the labor ever to swear it what? To sever to sever it what, to swear it what, glory apparitor. You know, apparitor is one who repeats what he heard, apparitor, or a overture, para overture. The overture is the music to set the mood. Labor ever to sever it what, the glory overture and you know glory is mercury you know the the labor ever to swear it to what the mercury overture the mercury overture is medicine and so down here at this 42nd seal in the fourth book it's the beehive and so we we brings the honey to the hive but others by our labors thrive and so the honey pot represents the Pope's hat. You know, it's the honey pot. You know, it represents somebody else does the labor. And we collect the, the honey. And that's why you see the bees on the inside of the Pope's coat. And you see this seal with the, the aster and the deuce and the regit. And God, by their names, the stars doth call. And he is ruler of them all. And so... In order to be a god, you first have to be an astrologer. You have to know the names of all them stars. And it's the, the aster aid use regit, use the kings. And you can see in the lex the deeds and fortunes, celestial spheres and stars, and condemn sin. So they were using uh, astrology for the law back then. And if you look at what he had to say about that entering his fourth lottery. And you see down in his lex here, you know, it's the lot moral. You know, and that's the, 
the word and said God the Amar Allah and you see that word moral in there all the time in the Hebrew and down here at the owl at page 79 it says by study and by watchfulness the gem of knowledge we possess and so the study and the watchfulness and the knowledge is another font and it says you know playing out in English you know the studio it vigilantia the studio you know some place where you recreate the studio it vigilant ya and it's got a smaller font on the uh, on the a here it makes me think it keeps on reading the yahoo and so it is the writings you know it comes from the ancient egyptian the feminine counterpart was it and uh and the t you know represented the writings in all the languages but it says several more things in here but you know pretty much plainly says you know to studio to recreate it vigilant yeah the owl the, the writings and so the owl you know it means to pray at night and so if we look in the lecks of it you know it's knowledge emblem figures Athens watchfulness wisdom the owl day and night and so it's telling me that the owl is representing the symbols, you know, keep an eye out for the symbols and how the symbols change meaning, you know, between day and night, you know, or like they're walkings who turn days to nights. And to say here at the end, you know, you are not what the Athenian owl implies, but what our English owl it signifies. And so all they did was give a different representation for the owl you know they turn from pray at night from jack the ripper to pray at night and all they did was change the symbol but it still has the same meaning but instead of you know looking at the stars to see what the future brings to pray at night you know it's just pray that whatever the the future brings you is the best you know you read this first s as it is is to is to dio is to god it vigil vi to strive the the vigil the vigilant to strive gallant to strive gallant you and this one with the hands tied on the cross got my attention friendship cross the friendship firm will ever abide whose hands into these cross are tied. And the word, you know, looks like co conavinctus what is. You know, the, the con men, the co, the together, together, the knife. And that's why, you know, you have the silent K. But it's the co knife, the co and, and sit. And sit is what it is you know that's like a uh, a proper woman would would say you know it is what it is sit the conniving sit is what it is sit is what is and when i look at the lex it doesn't give me much friendship faithful friends familiars quorum pains nor purse pure faith and vanities and mirth and af afflictions of the true love not cross friends so it looks like that could be the true love not they're tied to and so it looks like they're in cahoots you know to to what convinced is what is and so throughout here you'll see a bear shaking some serpents out the tree and he comes up again at the end you know, he that is blind will nothing see what light sore about him be. And he sees out here in the middle of the day with his glasses and, and holding torches, candles. And he doesn't see the mouse in front of him. And it appears like some guys are back here building a pyramid. And it's, uh, you know, the odal, you know, meaning an heir. So the codal cuss, the codal cousin, Lucy. Lucy is light. 
you know, the light in J U Y U W A T U R in light you what are, what were. Cold cousin Illusi, you what were. You know, the, the code will cuss to, to give us, to give us the code is the cuss. You know, to give the connected secret is the cuss. And the cousin to elusi, to elite, to elite you what were. And you see that the seal change, you know, this is the sun here. These change with the planets. So I could spend days in this book and, and not taking anything for their word, but looking closer into everything. You know, they say a, a winged ball just means motion. You know, that would be the name given Moses when he was born was motion. But I'll leave a link to this book in the top comment in here. But my program's loading up, so I'm going to cut this off here. Good day.